Um, so Luke was a techie at the, uh, my school's production of Little Orphan Annie. He was in charge of lights, and he was every drama geek's wet dream. He had a long, dark, greasy hair, and he listened to Sublime, and the best thing of all was that he was my boyfriend. Now, there was just a teeny, tiny, minuscule problem, which was that he was in middle school, and I was in high school. <laughs> now, um, before you start calling the police on me, he was only like three years younger than me, but nevertheless, I mean, it's never cool to rob middle school cradle when you're in high school. <laughs> so, Luke and I went to this prep school in Michigan, uh, where the middle school and the high school were in the same building, and in case you couldn't tell, um, in high school, I did all of the musicals, all of the plays, you know, I did competitive, competitive drama and um, slam poetry. And I also did assistant directing for the middle school plays, which is how I met Luke. <laughs> um, so Luke was this guy, he was a little bit of trouble, but not too much trouble. And as young relationships go, it went a little something like this. Week one. We um, started going out, and we said, I love you, on day seven. <laughs> week two, we spend the entire week making out behind the school in the woods. Week three, I made this beautiful art photo project that involved our eyes and our hands and Aaliyah's song, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. <laughs> and uh, week four, our young love was torn apart. So you see, the problem was is that he had a bit of overbearing parents. And I don't know if you remember this, but in the early 2000s, it was kind of a thing for kids to get shipped away to drug rehabilitation boarding schools. <laughs> so before I know it, these two huge men came into the, his room in the middle of the night, took him away. He couldn't say goodbye to his parents, his friends, or the love of his life, which was me. And I was heartbroken, you know, like I didn't even get past second base with this guy and I was so in love with him and he was the hottest guy ever. So time passes and, you know, we sort of keep in touch a little bit on Facebook, which is magical, clearly. Um, ten years later, it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday because it's the holiday you get to sleep with all of your ex-boyfriends. <laughs> if, uh, if Thanksgiving had a tagline, you know it's true. Th if Thanksgiving had a tagline, it would be Thanksgiving, where the turkey isn't the only thing getting stuffed. Wow. Thank you. Um, so through the magic of Facebook and about three Jaeger bombs later, I was reliving my glory days in the back of my parents' Honda. Um, he had turned into uh, a ski instructor. He had white boy dreadlocks. And um, he also was running a very lucrative drug business, <laughs> which any one of those things would have been enough for me to say no. But I did it for drama geeks everywhere. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, I love school musicals. I love them so much. The first school uh, production I was ever in, and this is one of those jokes that I've seen on other comedies, but I actually did it. It was a Christmas show, and I was in uh, second grade, and we were supposed to spell out Santa. And I was late, and I was the end, and I came in the end, and we spelled out Satan uh, for Christmas, for everyone. And my mom has pictures of it that she shows. That's my boy. Um, so now we're going to get...